Uh, Senator Roberts. Thank you, Chair, and thank you for appearing again today. Uh, just on the last question that Senator Ernick asked um, Dr Gould, um, could you have a look at graph number... Have you, are you familiar with the Australian Bureau of Statistics submission? Uh, yes. If you just give me a moment, I will um, fumble on my iPad to have that. Yes, um, what page, sorry, Senator? It's on page seven of their 14 page submission. Top of the page, graph one. Yeah, that's, no. Ah, uh, yes. Have you done any uh, work on trying to understand and explain the first peak in March 2021 and the next peak in August 22? Can you tell me the causes of those peaks? Take it, take it on notice if you want. Um, I'm not actually seeing um, a, a peak in uh, March 2021. You're not seeing the uh, actual deaths? Uh, yes, I'm looking at the, the same graph as you, I believe, with expected actual... There's a and peak well outside the upper range. Um, oh, yes, OK, there is um, a small... It's quite marked. Uh, ..period. So the, the graph that you see, um, the expected... Um, mortality is um, a modelled number. We've talked about yeah. this before. Um, and as with any modelled number, it has strengths and weaknesses. So that's, that's acknowledged. Yeah. Um, there are a number of different uh, this ways. This is a startling peak. Yeah. So is that all due to the model? Uh, the, the peak you're referring to is a peak because it goes above the confidence intervals of the model. So it is a function of the model and it is also a function of the um, It is mortality. way, way, way above. Uh, I'm concerned that we're, we're looking at, at uh, different information. I'm not seeing a large peak in, in 2021. End of February, early March, 20, sorry, 22. Okay. Oh, 22. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Um, yes. What's, so, so what's the um, explanation for the big yeah, peak there? So you see um, a very significant uh, peak with the um, the actual number. So that's the dark red number, and that re represents total mortality yep. over that period, and it is higher than expected. Um, importantly, this graph also shows what the it looks like without COVID. So that's the the sort of dare I say salmon coloured or the pink coloured mm -hmm. line, um, which is uh, a much less dramatic peak. So that indicates um, how much COVID itself contributed to that, that large peak. Uh, that said, I would acknowledge without COVID, the, the, the light pink line is still outside of normal expectations. So that would be considered a period of excess mortality. Have you done any uh, work on explaining why that that's the case. It's it's above the the mean of the range and it's above the upper limit. Yeah. So um, again, the, the ABS um, reports um, look at different causes of death. Um, so we and um, okay. complementary analysis from say the Actuaries Institute also looks at potential uh, causes there. Um, that includes um, uh, ischemic heart disease. So we um, go to the ABS. Pardon? We go to the ABS. The ABS is a very okay, good place. Thank you. Yeah. Um, now, I want to follow up on a, on a question that I didn't hear you, that you answered from Senator Rennick, and that built in turn on something I asked the, earlier in the, in the second session. The Australian Bureau of Statistics revealed in estimates last week that it's possible to match ABS death data against COVID vaccine status to see what the respective death rates for vaccinated and unvaccinated Australians are. Have you done that analysis? I didn't hear you respond to Senator Rennick. Um, so, we... Again, it's the same concept where I was talking about the, the time series analysis. We need to be really careful about Have producing... It, it, I, I will get to that. Um, the, producing raw um, death counts, uh, mortality counts by vaccination status is um, a very limited value. Obviously, the counts we would expect to be higher for um, vaccinated Australians because the vast majority of Australians were vaccinated. So we need an appropriate denominator. Sure. Um, so that, that, that work needs to be done. We also need excuse, to... Excuse me, Dr Gould, you can still have comparison of people who've had one vaccine, two vaccines, three shots, four shots, etc. Yeah, and, and what I wanted to, to get to, so you could do that with raw mortality rates, but as we've discussed, 
Age is a really important factor for mortality, so age standardisation is really mm -hmm. important there. But there are other forms um, of work that we need to do to ensure that we're comparing like populations with each other. So effectively, sure. we're, we're comparing statistical apples with, sure. with each other. Um, and that was the whole purpose of the, um, the research that we commissioned by the National Centre for Immunisation Research and Surveillance, that they could do that, that challenging but really critical work so that they could give a better sense of the um, mortality outcomes for What's people. The um, so the answer is um, very clear that uh, COVID vaccines provided uh, significant protection against mortality from COVID. They also extended that um, research to all-cause mortality. As, as we've said, COVID was a large Can we get a copy of the report, that. please? Absolutely. It's publicly available. Um, we'll be happy to send you a link for that. Um, uh, I can't quote the, the when, exact when did, web when, address, but it's... it's when did you ask them to do that report? Um, I believe the date is current to 2022. Um, we could take on notice when, when we started conversations if around could, this report. Please. Um, yeah. What is the death rate comparison amongst vaccinated and unvaccinated Australians? Um, I know you said there are many qualifications, but, but filtering through the qualifications, What's the death rate? Uh, it is lower for vaccinated Australians Could we have as, numbers, as per please? that research. The way they um, describe it is actually in terms of the protection or the, the, um, the protection Not against the death, death from the, the... Just one moment, Mr Dr Gould. Senator Roberts, just the last five minutes, you've been interrupting quite regularly while they're answering. Thank you, if you could maybe wait till they finish and then um, ask yeah. your next question. Thank you. Um, I think that that research um, should answer a lot of your okay. questions. Has anyone ordered you not to analyse uh, deaths, excess mortality, uh, or to do so in a certain way to hide anything? Absolutely not. 